All right, hey guys, we're here in Chalfont and today we're getting ready to do some layout for a kitchen remodel addition we're gonna be doing soon. That's about where that outside wall is. That's your minimum. Um, you can see Chris and Joe behind me are setting some lines and marks for our uh, mason that's going to be out here Monday. Um, so basically if you look behind me, um, that's the back wall of the house where the kitchen is. And we're going to be blowing that out about six feet as part of the kitchen remodel. Alright, so this is just an inside look. I gave you a quick rundown on the outside. Um, this is the kitchen from the inside and the area of this window is the area we're going to be pushing out about six feet and then as i said we're going to demo the existing kitchen uh, get them all new cabinets all new finishes um, so demo will be starting next week and pretty much everything's going to go we're going to drop the drywall ceiling so we can extend the rafters out uh, give us that six feet bump out uh, we'll probably have to add a couple collar ties up there just structurally uh, we may lose a window that's there existing, but if we can get a smaller one in, we'll, we'll get that set up for them. Uh, next week we'll handle doing some rough-ins, getting our slab, foundation, board, uh, and then from there we're going to jump into some framing. This is John Fawcett with LBK. We're here in Chalfont setting up for a kitchen project. So good plumbing is outside. They're setting up for under slab for the extension. And then we have the demo crew sealing off with plastic, making sure we're protected and separated from the main space. And then we're gonna start demo. We're over here at the uh, Chalfont kitchen waiting for the inspection for the under slab plumbing and for footing preparedness. As soon as we get that, we're gonna go ahead and pour the, uh, the footing, the foundation walls and the, and the slab all in one shot. Got the rest of the rebar here. Once he's done, he's gonna tie all his rebar together. Put wire and uh, plant Okie doke. Very good. Are you sick or anything? Today's framing, the uh, slab was poured. We gave that a couple days to set up heavily. We're actually taking uh, one of the customer's old windows that we weren't able to use with the new design and we're splitting the mullion and separating that to create a, win a new window on the right and the left to keep the same trims, keep all the same look on the inside and give them the max light. So he's happy about that and we're moving forward. Uh, next steps, we're gonna be under roof by the end of today and then we're gonna be uh, roofing and starting the exterior. And on the in inside, we're gonna do electrical and plumbing uh, coming up next at the end of this week. Inside here, we, uh, we're going with 2x12s on the back pitch. Um, existing is 2x10s. So part of that is we're going to be putting collar ties in. And basically, this small section of flat ceiling has small 2x4 collar ties. We're upgrading those to 2x6 or 2x8. And it should be a third down from the peak. Uh, so that ceiling is going to flatten out and come down about a third of what we're seeing here. We're thinking about repurposing the client's windows we were able to do that so he had a double window unit we split that in half separated the two units and we were able to repurpose them uh, one on either side of the original planned window um, so he's got taller windows better light and it matches the original window on the back wall we just 
just passed the electrical inspection. So Raiden Zark was out here doing all the electric. We're past that stage. Uh, since the last time we spoke, we did install the collar ties. Um, we added about, we about doubled the run of the rafter span. So with that additional uh, roofing space and the potential load, we needed to upgrade the collar ties from what they had. So we have the two by six collar ties are in. Um, and then we're fully framed, roughed in, ready to start uh, insulating and closing up walls. We are also fully sealed in on the exterior here. So you'll notice that we have a Tyvek house wrap installed and then the windows get taped to that Tyvek uh, once they're ready to do the siding. That all goes over, over this layer. But at this point, we can be open to the weather for a few days while we're waiting for the uh, exterior crew schedule to hit and everything's waterproof. We wrapped up uh, insulation here. Drywall is hung, passed our insulation inspection, passed our drywall screw pattern inspection, and now we're starting to tape. So today's finishing, we'll be here all week finishing. Then we're gonna prime and uh, just paint in the edges of the cabinets and go, go right into setting cabinets next week. Cabinet day, well-born cabinets is here delivering, and we just loaded up the house. We are just finishing up drywall, spack, last coat of spackle is going on today. Sanding is going to be Monday. We're going to prime coat and first coat of paint. The cabins start going in next week. back in Chalfont with at our kitchen project and we just templated countertop so eastern surfaces was out here they use a laser method um, basically take measurements every foot and then that maps out the square footage gets us exact measurements and it's gonna be about a week and a half we'll have those countertops being installed um, and I just double check sometimes it's off maybe a sixteenth and an eighth offset a line shrink it because it actually make it tight right now so if they try to bring this top in it would actually be tight Yep, and then I put it, and you got a kitchen. The reason that we used Eastern Surfaces to do the laser method uh, is so that we can get the least amount of seams and the best layout on the slab for this project. So we also delivered the flooring. So next up is flooring, cabinetry trims, and then uh, base trim, that's it. We're here wrapping up our job in Chalfont, the Chalfont kitchen. So as you can see behind me, uh, the exterior is all complete. We were able to repurpose the existing window, slide that back into the, uh, into the new exterior wall. And then this is, this is one half of the upper window that we split. So we now have one tall window on both sides. And the customer, customer is gonna be able to order blinds uh, for those windows and he's good to go. So we, we pushed out the back wall of the old house. We came out about six feet, which gave them extra space inside for their kitchen and just gave them a lot more cabinetry to be able to fill that space. We'll see that when we head inside. Here we are, finished kitchen. So as you can see, you gotta walk around the, uh, the big peninsula island for them. They've got plenty of seating on the back side. Stools are on order and uh, they'll have those shortly. The rest of the kitchen here behind me, a uh, lot, of, lot of additional cabinets compared to the original footprint. So this, this area here was where the old wall was, right here. We pushed that back six feet and expanded to create this additional space to tuck in more cabinets for more storage and just to accommodate the layout that they wanted with appliances and that sort of thing. So these are the two windows. These two windows used to be one unit that were together and they were over top of this window. 
The customer really wanted to find a way to reuse those. So we took that window, split it in two, and we were able to frame it in on the side so he gets to keep those, uh, those units and repurpose them. Tall ceilings all the way up. The customer got a new fan here just to, to uh, fit the space. And then this area of the laundry and the pantry and the refrigerator, we accommodated what was there and we just kept what, what was uh, the original layout. So that didn't change much. So for the floor in this project, the customer went with a 12 by 24 uh, size tile looking floor as opposed to a plank. And as you can see, it kind of distinguishes the kitchen from the rest of the, the wood floor in the rest of the house. It really just kind of makes the space. Eastern Surfaces finished the install. Really cool color pattern here. Uh, this, is, this is complete. And then a matching backsplash with the outlets in the backsplash so we can keep them per code. Uh, but still get to fit them in underneath the windows.